Here we're asked to use the grids to graph the equations y equals negative 2 and x equals 5. So let's take these one at a time. y equals negative 2, this is going to be a special case equation. So I'm going to draw a t table here and indicate some values of input and notice that the output for all of these values is negative 2. So it doesn't matter what my input is, my output is negative 2. That's what this equation is saying. So if I plot each one of those ordered pairs and draw the graph here, I'm going to get a horizontal line. And let's go ahead and label. So negative 2, negative 2, 0, negative 2, and 2, negative 2. <clears throat> so we're asked to identify the slope and the y-intercept. Well, the y-intercept is here. So 0, comma, negative 2 is the y-intercept. To identify the slope, you might remember that a horizontal line has 0 slope but you might not. So let's use a couple of ordered pairs and use the slope formula. So I'm going to use these two ordered pairs. So the change in output is negative 2 minus negative 2 over change in input 2 minus 0. Negative 2 minus negative 2 is negative 2 plus 2 over the denominator of 2, so that's 0 over 2. My slope is 0, and that's going to be the case for any horizontal line. Let's take a look at the equation x equals 5 and see how this one is different. So if I give myself a t-table here, and the input is always 5 no matter what, so it doesn't matter what my outputs are, my inputs are always 5. So I'm going to be at 5, 0 and 5, 2 and 5, negative 2. So plotting these points helps me remember, because this is a special case, similar to but different than the first one, this is a vertical line special case. So if we're looking for a y-intercept, well this graph never crosses the y-axis, so there isn't one. To find the slope, you may remember that the slope of a vertical line is undefined, but you may not. So let's compute using our slope formula and the two ordered pairs in the square. So the vertical change in, uh, is 2 minus 0. The horizontal change is 5 minus 5. So that's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That gives me 2 over 0, and division by 0 is undefined. So what that means for this problem is that my slope is undefined. So here are then the two special cases, horizontal line and vertical line. You're going to want to remember the characteristics of these lines in terms of the slopes, the y-intercepts, the equations, and how to graph them.